Hello my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This particular very short reading is a love note from your Divine Masculine, what it is that they would want to express to you, my feminines, from their higher self if they could at this point in time. So this is for those of you who are in separation and not with your masculine. We're going to take a look and see if they could express themselves at this time through these cards, these messages. What is it that they would want to say to you? Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start things off with Libra. So Libra, what is it that your masculine would want to say to you? And I forgot to mention, you know, general reading as always, guys, it won't resonate with every single person. So please do take from this what makes sense for you, release what doesn't. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, as always, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I forgot to mention too, these are the decks that we're going to be using. So my self-created deck, the Thinking Man Oracle Volume 2. And this is my ex Oracle right here. Soul Whispers by Bridget Rao of Divine Essentials. You have my heart, Soul Lovers in Separation by Angelic Revelation 144. And lastly, this is actually Volume 1 and 2. I've combined them both. This is by Fire Witch Tarot Unspoken Messages. Okay, guys, so let's get started. We're starting off with Libra, and I will timestamp these down below so you'll know what section you need to move forward to if you're Aquarius or Gemini. All right, guys, so starting with the Thinking Man Oracle, and I have pre-shuffled these. So let's see what the first message is from your masculine. I've wanted to reach out so many times. I just wasn't sure you wanted me to reach out. So many messages left unsent, perhaps someday. Okay, so my feminine's tuning in. This particular masculine, they've definitely wanted to communicate. They could have put together a text or an email, might have tried to communicate with you on social media, but at the last minute, they decided not to send it. They could be afraid to communicate. They might be thinking that you're not open to communication right now or that you wouldn't even want to hear from them at this point considering what has happened between the two of you, okay? So let's grab another one from the X oracle here and what it is that this masculine wants to say. Every time I hear someone say your name, it breaks my heart knowing you're so far away from me, okay? So you guys could still have mutual friends, your families might still keep in touch with each other, and every time they hear your name through conversation, it still triggers them somehow. You know, it hurts them to actually hear your name knowing that you guys are in separation, that you're not together at this point in time. So let's grab our next message from the Soul Whispers. Ooh, it's almost time. Okay. Sorry for that glare. So they feel it's almost time to perhaps reach out even though they're afraid. Okay. They are hoping to overcome their fears and apprehensions and hesitations and are finally getting to the point where perhaps they feel it's time to finally take that first step to reach out. Let's grab a card from here. Oh my God, this glare. Okay, sorry. No matter how hard this journey has been, loving you is still the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, so no matter what happens here between the two of you, my feminines, you're still a blessing in this masculine's life. No matter where this journey takes either of you, they still love you. They consider you to be the best thing that's ever happened to them. Okay, so let's grab one from the Unspoken Messages deck. I see you in my dreams. They're dreaming about you. You as well, my feminines, could be seeing this masculine in your dreams. Okay, so let's grab another one from the Thinking Man Oracle here, Libra. I need you to trust me. Okay, so if there were trust issues in the partnership before, maybe they're wanting to convey that this time, that they've worked on themselves, that they are someone that is trustworthy, somebody that you could trust now. Okay, next message from here. We always had so much fun together, the laughter our friendship, the way we loved each other. It was very special to me. Maybe, just maybe, we can try once more. They want to try again, okay? They want to be able to give this another chance, my feminine. So if you're open to that, Libra, then your masculine definitely wants to give it another chance. All right, next message. You taught me so much, okay? So being in a connection with you, 
my feminines, this masculine has learned so much from you as a person through the experience of the relationship. You have definitely affected this person's life. All right, let's grab another card from here if I can grab it. I just want to hold you now. It's been too long since you held me close and I'm aching for you. I believe it. I mean, that's pretty much coming through, through all of these cards that they're thinking about you, they still love you, and now they're coming through with that message. I just want to hold you now. They miss those intimate moments. They miss your hugs and just being with you in the physical sense, okay? All right, last message for Libra. Please stop focusing on past hurtful situations, okay? So they really want to move forward from the past and, you know, whatever it was that drove a wedge between the two of you, it is in the past. And if you guys want to move forward in this connection, they would love for the feminine to be able to see a future filled with love and an opportunity for you guys to start fresh, start over. Okay, so that is what's coming through here, Libra, my feminines, and where your masculine is at at this point. Hopefully that resonated. That is your love note from your masculine. All right, Aquarius, my feminines, let's go ahead and take a look and see what your divine masculine's love note is to you at this time. So starting things off with the thinking man oracle. All right, so let's grab your first message. And again, these have all been pre-shuffled. I've wanted to reach out. Oh my gosh, I've shuffled these so many times and you guys ended up getting the same exact message as Libra. So if your person happens to be Libra and a fellow air sign could be that you guys are on the same page. So it says, I've wanted to reach out so many times. I just wasn't sure you wanted me to reach out. So many messages left unsent, perhaps someday. So if your person is a Libra, because it was the exact same message, maybe you guys have both put together texts or emails or messages you guys wanted to send, but didn't. So there's a lot you want to say, but maybe you guys are just not saying it at this point in time. That's super interesting. Okay, so let's grab your next message from the X Oracle here. Look at that. Come back. This is from your masculine here, my feminines. So Aquarius, they want you back. Okay, maybe that's what it is that they've been wanting to express, but they haven't done it thus far. So let's grab your next message here. Come to me. Okay, come back. Come to me. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory here, my feminines, that your masculine wants you back, wants, wants you back in their life, wants you to return. And they've thought about reaching out, but maybe they're a little bit apprehensive at this point in time for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and grab one from here. I'm just going to hold it up to avoid the glare. I believe the best is yet to come. Keep praying, stay positive, and keep believing in us, okay? So that's what your masculine wants to express at this time. Letting you know that the best is yet to come, despite where you guys are at, you know? Um, you guys are clearly in separation. That is what we're focused on here. That's why they want you back. And they know that there's better times ahead. So if you're one to turn to prayer, just stay positive. If what's meant to be, you guys coming back together, that might just be able to manifest itself here, okay? So let's grab another one, Aquarius. You are my person. That is how they see you, my feminines, that you are my person. That is your divine masculine expressing that to you. Okay, so very matter of fact statements coming through here from your divine masculine. All right, so let's get another round of cards. I need you to trust me, okay? So again, very similar messages from the Libra reading here. There could have been trust issues between the two of you, and they're really wanting to let you know that they are somebody that you can definitely trust at this point in time. They've worked on themselves, and you know, if there were infidelities, cheating going on in the partnership, and maybe trust was broken, they've worked on that, I feel, and they're definitely wanting you to trust them, my feminines, okay? They want you back. Next message. I said a lot of things I didn't mean. I'm sorry. Okay. So for those of you who are able to resonate with that, maybe you guys had arguments. You didn't see eye to eye. There were things that this masculine said that came from a very painful place and ended up hurting you. And they regret it. You know, they want you back, my feminines. That's what's coming through here. Next message. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. 
maybe during this time too. Oh my gosh, that glare is horrible. During this time, it's like they might just be feeling really lost with where they're at in their heart and their mind as to how to fix this, you know, and maybe they realize that the problem lies with them. It's like, what's wrong with me? Why did I end up messing up this beautiful relationship with my feminine, you know? So they're really questioning where they're at on their journey. Let's go ahead and grab another one here for Aquarius. Though I haven't always said it with words, there is love in the silence. Close your eyes and feel my presence. Be still and listen to me tell you that I love you. Oh my gosh. So this is what your masculine wants to express to you at this time. Aquarius, feminines, wow. That you are loved. And they said a lot of things they didn't mean. They want you back. You are my person. All right, last message for Aquarius. The universe keeps reminding me that we belong together. Look at that. Okay, so this is your love note from your divine masculine here. And this masculine now realizes that you guys belong together. And they've got a lot of regrets over how things have played out in the past. And they realize also that they might have contributed to the problems that you guys have had. They want you back. That's coming through here. They said a lot of things they didn't mean. And they're now coming through with an apology here. All right, guys. So that is your Divine Masculine love note. All right, guys. So hopefully you're able to resonate with that. All right, Gemini, my feminines, this is your love note from your Divine Masculine at this time and what they would want to express to you. Okay, so let's start things off with the Thinking Man Oracle and what your masculine wants to express at this time. I've been keeping tabs on you. Are you keeping tabs on me? Okay, so maybe they've been checking you out on social media. You guys are possibly keeping tabs on each other. So if that's something that you resonate with, my feminines, perhaps your masculine is aware of this, that you're spying on them or that you're keeping an eye on them somehow, but they're doing the same thing, okay? So let's grab one from the X Oracle here. There's no turning back. We can't undo the damage from the past, but we can learn from it, move on, and heal our hearts together. Absolutely. You know, unless you've got a time machine, there's no way to travel back in time to fix the damage of what's happened here between the two of you. It is what it is. It's a thing of the past, and you guys would be better off just moving on from the past and what's happened and moving forward, either together or going down very different roads but it does appear that from the masculine they want to be able to fix this and work on it together okay so let's grab one from the soul whispers deck why is this so hard you know so they are acknowledging that this hasn't been an easy journey at all especially during this separation from the feminine okay let's see what else The thought of being with you one day is what gets me through today. So my feminines, I mean, this masculine is just holding on to this dream, this thought of someday being with you again and reuniting with you. That is where they're at right now. Okay, so let's grab a message from the unspoken messages deck. I text, then erase. So they want to reach out so badly, they've you know, put these texts together, but ended up erasing it and not sending it. They're a little bit apprehensive. Maybe they know that you're upset with them. You're not ready to hear from them. Or they're, they're just allowing their fears to really get in the way of making progress towards communication here. So what I'm feeling here is that they're really making it a lot harder on themselves than it needs to be. Okay, and maybe they are responsible for whatever has happened in the past and they acknowledge that they know that and just the verbiage here, we can't undo the damage from the past. I have a feeling here for some of you, your masculine did most of the damage here and they're remorseful and they're thinking about you. They're missing you. They want so badly to text and reach out, but they're just stopping themselves from doing that. Okay, so what are they doing? They're keeping tabs on you in however way they're able to right now. So let's grab another round of cards here. Every time I hear your name, it stops me in my tracks. It leaves me shaken and I have to remind myself that it's over, that it's over because of me. Exactly. You see? So it is because of this divine masculine that things ended because they did something. And I have a feeling they've just got a lot of regrets over how things played out between the two of you. So it still triggers them when, whenever they hear somebody mention 
your name. You guys might have mutual friends that they still keep in touch with. And whenever your name is brought up, it just triggers them somehow. Okay, so let's grab another one. I can't sleep without you next to me. Okay, so your divine masculine is clearly letting you know that maybe they've had a lot of late nights. They might be experiencing anxiety and just allowing their fears to overwhelm them. You guys are not together. They are acknowledging that they messed up, that it's because of them that you guys are not together. So they're, they're losing sleep over this. They're dealing with insomnia, possibly having nightmares over the fact that they contributed to the breakup and the separation here. And they miss having you next to them. Okay, let's grab the next one. I promise I'll fix everything. Okay, so they are taking responsibility for the fact that they ended up breaking this very special bond that you guys have had, or at least contributing to the breakup, the separation, and why you guys are not together at this point in time. So they promise to fix what's broken here. All right, let's grab another. I took an oath with God and you to stand by your side for eternity. I made a promise to find you in every lifetime and to take your hand in eternal spiritual marriage. Our union is sacred and divine. Oh my. For some of you guys, you could have been married to your masculine and this could be a marriage that, you know, you guys broke up. Some of you guys might have even gotten divorced, legal separations here. And there's a lot of regrets here. You know, they can't sleep without you next to them. And also, this has to do with promises that they made you when you guys were together. And, you know, in hindsight, they see that as the separation, they have a lot of regrets. They see you as perhaps a soul spouse. They want this spiritual marriage to come back into union. They see that this is divine and sacred. And maybe a lot of these realizations happened when you guys went your own separate ways, you know. It's almost like realizing it a little bit too late, but it is a part of their realization and awakening. So let's grab one last card here. Purposely putting myself in stagnant situations because I'm not ready. Okay, that could also be contributing to why they're keeping themselves awake at night. They can't sleep. They can't just allow their mind to, to rest and relax because they've kind of added to the drama that's been happening here. You know, it's like, I promise I'll fix everything. I took an oath with God, but at the same time, they're getting themselves into these situations that might be contributing to why things are stagnant between the two of you. Okay, so that's what's presenting itself here, my feminines, and what this masculine needs to convey to you at this point in time. But I do feel ultimately, they still want you guys to come back together and it falls on this masculine to be able to create some sort of action to fix what's broken here. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for your love note from your Divine Masculine Geminis at this time. Hopefully this was able to resonate with you. All right, guys, so that's it for now. See you next time.